Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I'd like to welcome everybody to our Best Warrior Competition formal banquet tonight. All Sergeant Majors, welcome to you, officers, ladies, and wives. Thank you very much for being here and distinguished guests. My name is Staff Sergeant Tim. I will be your MC for this evening. What we're going to do now is first I'd like to welcome and say how proud I am as an MCO of all these competitors that were here. So please, if you don't mind for me, put your hands together for all the competitors that were in the competition. I see many different faces that I've met throughout my 16 years in the Mississippi Army National Guard. Some of you, we've served together, we've went to combat together. Some of you, I know, knew Moses and parted the Red Sea with them. Some of you, congratulations on that. That was an awesome accomplishment. We all appreciate it. Very good, thank you. And, um, but I am now proud to announce to you the senior enlisted leader, State Command Sergeant Major Range. Appreciate it, Sartem. Like All right, hey, uh, pretty good crowd we got here tonight. Uh, like Sartem said, uh, we're here to recognize our, our best warriors. All, all of our best warriors. Everybody that came here uh, to compete uh, is a best warrior. They've won at the MSC level, and they came up here and they faced uh, the best competition in the state. And, and we'll eventually tonight we'll get to the point where we'll see who is the best of the best. All right. So uh, I know that's what everybody came to see. So, so I won't get up here and give a big speech. Uh, I do got a big stack of, of my free box cards, cards here, but, uh, but I won't read off all of them. And, and I'll get started with the introduction of our guest. We ordinarily introduce uh, general officers, but what I'll do, if you look around tonight, uh, we've got a lot of command sergeant majors in the room. So I'll let them introduce uh, their guests that they've got. And, and if you notice the way we're seated, we've got the overhead units here, the 184th here, uh, <coughs> troop command here, and the 155 here. All right, and then we got some more special guests who, who I'll introduce, or either I'll let one of our other uh, members here introduce for me. But let me start at the uh, at the head table. Uh, of course, you know I, I will start with my beautiful wife Karen. She's here uh, supporting me as always. Uh, the host, all right, Camp McCain, uh, Command Group Colonel Bennett, and Sergeant Major Williams. Then I will uh, introduce. In the back corner, uh, we've got an ADS uh, representative who has sponsored the event, and he'll come up a little later on in the program and present uh, a gift uh, to the Best Warrior Competition, uh, Russell Thompson. One last introduction, and I'll let him introduce, introduce the other special guests we've got. Uh, first Sergeant Larry Odom, who is a, the president of our Enlisted National Guard Association. First Sergeant. So I'd like to introduce uh, some other members of the uh, NCO Association here tonight. You got uh, Leroy Matthews and his wife, uh, Miss Lemon, Heath Ells and Miss Willow, Ricky Myers and, and Miss Connie Mike. And then I'd like for any of the uh, board members that serve on the association board to go ahead and stand up at this time. Remind you, y'all come on. Thank y'all. Thank you. Now I'll turn it over to our uh, senior overhead command sergeant major, command sergeant major Gary Graham. Uh, command sergeant major Gary Graham, regimental command sergeant major from 154th RTI. I'll start at, uh, at my right here with command sergeant major Jason Little and let him introduce his guest. Captain General Kennedy. Yes. Uh, first off, I'd like to say with command sergeant major Jason Little, Camp Chevy Joint Force command sergeant major. I have with me one of the finest officers you'll find in the state of Mississippi the Camp Chevy Joint Force Training Center Commander, Colonel Gregory Michelle. I also have with me our DOL NCYC, uh, Master Sergeant Bill Harry. I have our HHC First Sergeant, which is First Sergeant uh, Blaylock. I have our Larry Odin, which I just met, which is our DPTMS uh, Senior NCO. But now what I can introduce our soldier, Camp Shelby Joint Force Training Center Soldier of the Year. I'm gonna tell you, she's coming up here and proving she is a true warrior. She comes to us from Shibuta, Mississippi, She's a mother of three children. She's married to Brandon Lee, which is also in the car. And she has proven this week, I'm gonna tell you, this girl has a heart of the line. Specialist for Tisha Lee. Okay, I have the Commandant of the NCOK 
Academy with me, uh, Command Sergeant Major Amos, he'll introduce his guest. How you doing, sir, Sergeant Major? <clears throat> I have, first I'm gonna start with my competitor. Stand up, Sergeant Pig. Our <laughs> Gerald Pig, the instructor for the uh, third NCO Academy. Uh, we're, we're exceptionally proud of Sergeant Pig and uh, we, we want to congratulate you and thank you for the, the job that you do for us and not only for competing, but for the job that you do at the RGI. Oops, uh, He's a quality assurance sergeant for uh, third NCO Academy. Sergeant Brooks, one of my senior NCO, senior SDLs. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Sergeant Hill, another one of my instructors. Sergeant Brandon Tedford, he's a senior. Sergeant Cobb, I want to say a special word for Sergeant Cobb. Sergeant Cobb actually is the, the, the nuts and bolts behind the uh, getting all this together, right? You know, the RTI kind of is the, the one that helps get it all together, but Sergeant Cobb, I definitely, uh, he, he's the one that actually did all the real, real work, okay? You know, there's always somebody in the back of the thing, well, Sergeant Cobb is that person. Now, I'm not taking away from any of these other people that, that helped us out, but Sergeant Cobb definitely spent a lot of time. We appreciate that. All right, uh, Sergeant Lott, step up, Sergeant Jeff Lott, one of my seniors instructors and Sergeant Lewis, another one of my senior instructors. Is that all everybody? Thank you. And, and I'll also say thank each of you in the support, uh, regardless of whether it's from the RPI or where. Thank you. Uh, I'll also uh, introduce to my left here Sergeant Major Jackson, he is the Operations Sergeant Major for Joint Force Headquarters. Uh, I got Sergeant Major Young here, he is the G3 uh, Sergeant Major for Joint Force Headquarters as well. All right. All right, before we move on to the 184th, uh, we got a few more members. Uh, we, we got my trusty uh, supply NCOs, Sergeant First Class Shane Fayette, and uh, Staff Sergeant Williams to his side. <laughs> And then we've got the uh, PAO uh, group, uh, Staff Sergeant Times, and uh, Staff Sergeant Morgan. Where, where you at, Staff Sergeant Morgan? Staff Sergeant Morgan, over here. And, and I think that wraps up the overhead. So, uh, Sergeant Major Campbell. Sergeant Major Perry Campbell, Command Sergeant Major 184. I'd like to introduce the Commander of 184th, Brigadier General Gregory Kennedy, and my wife, Susan. Our first competitor, our NCO, Sergeant McKeon from 1687. She's done a fantastic job, and how she's standing up right now is beyond me. Because <laughs> she, her feet are in pretty bad shape. But she's doing a great job. Specialist McKinney, from 1687. First Sergeant Wendell, First Sergeant 1687. Master Sergeant Moore, from 1687. I got Master Sergeant Major Riggs, from the 168. And Master Sergeant Luke, from the 890. Uh, to introduce uh, <laughs> the, the, the Adjutant General Army side uh, for the state of Mississippi, General Brewer. All right, Sergeant Major Master. Good afternoon, Sergeant Major Masterson, 66 Troop Command, Command Sergeant Major. It is my honor tonight to introduce to you the Deputy Commander, Colonel Joe Hargett. Commander of 112th MP Battalion, Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Watrous, his Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Payne. I want to go ahead and introduce the Commander of 114th MP Company, uh, Captain Coleman. Operations Sergeant is uh, Master Sergeant Madden. But uh, the reason I introduced them first, this is it, the 66th Troop Command, Soldier of the Year, or NCO of the Year, and this is their soldier. Please stand up. He's been a member of the uh, 114th MP Company, the 113th MP Company, deployed multiple times. Uh, this is Staff Sergeant Griffin, currently a squad leader, 114th MP Company. He is also one 6th Infantry Troop Command. Also, I want to introduce um, a 
Again, let me start with Command Sergeant Major Ross, 185th Tab. Going down this left side, uh, Command Sergeant Major James, 2nd Battalion, 185th. Next to him, Command Sergeant Major White, 1108th Avcrad. Coming back up to the front here, Operation Sergeant Major, who I couldn't do without, Sergeant Major Goldsmith. And then finally, for my group, is Sergeant Major 210th, Finance Battalion, Sergeant Major Johnson. Also, I know you introduced some of my guys to PAO. They belong to 6th Infantry Troop Command, but I know they're your guys right now. But I also want to take a chance to introduce the band. I can't see your name tags from here, and I didn't see you without you with your shirts on earlier. So please stand up and introduce yourself. Staff Sergeant Handy, with the 41st Army Band. Staff Sergeant Robert Bush, 41st Army Band. Staff Sergeant Ethan Todd, 41st Army Band. Sergeant First Class Terry Miller, 41st Army Band. Sergeant J.P. Sansing, 41st Army Band. Thank you. All right. Sergeant Major Jones. Sergeant Major, good afternoon. Sergeant Major Jones, second one fourteenth. I'll be filling in tonight for Sergeant Major Tatum. Uh, tonight we have here Master Sergeant Smith. Okay. Master Sergeant Smith, he's off Sergeant for Second One Fourteenth, and got Sergeant Major Parker, and, and Sergeant Major Brown. If you want to introduce your three competitors. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Major Brown, First One Fifty Fifth Cap South. Well, with me I have my, my outstanding soldiers, Sergeant Dawes, and up Specialist Butte. Sergeant Riggs, Sergeant Riggs is with the 198 Cap, 198 Cap North, and also Gatlin, Specialist Gatlin, who's not here, he had to go home and take care of his uh, mother who's in the hospital. And also I have NCO, Sergeant First Class Guest, and 155, standing strong, boy. I'd like to add too, I was gonna, Introduce Sergeant Riggs, uh, he's Sergeant Major Blue's competitor. Sergeant Major Blue had to go home, his grandmother fell and broke her hip and had a, a massive heart attack, but she's recovered conscious and I still don't know just how she's doing, but y'all remember them. All right, long introduction. All right, we introduced a lot of people. And, and you know, the reason we do that, hey, a lot of the NCOs, a lot of senior leadership here in this room that have come up through the ranks, all right? Uh, they're the ones that handle our day-to-day -day business in the Mississippi National Guard, all right? Uh, it's, not, it's not Jerome Brewer, it's not me. We sit up there and, and, you know, we try to keep track of things. We try to issue out guidance. We try to stay on top of stuff, but it's the people that just introduce themselves that make things go around in the Mississippi National Guard. They accomplish our missions that we get every day. So, uh, so nothing wrong going around hearing their names called out, hearing their names spoken, and giving them credit for the job they do. All right. So, uh, so one more time, uh, I'll give a round of applause for everybody here. All right. First, Art Odom, would you would you come up and get the invocation and pray for the food? Let's bow our heads. Dear most precious heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again for another day you've given us. Lord, thank you for safe travels to all the people that's come out tonight, Lord. Lord, give them safe travels back home. Show that in the beginning. Show what? The video at the beginning of the competition. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's our tech. With all due respect. That's got to be the dumbest statement. I've ever heard. <laughs> Everybody in this room right now is, is five seconds dumber. And we can't ever get that back. You ask, let me just clarify, why did we not show that? Why are you not? Were you in that video? <laughs> Sergeant Morgan, if you can figure out a way to possibly revert back in time 
We'll put that Lady on next year's purchase list. In another video <laughs> and show the video, you know, maybe like having some, you know, just floating in air. <laughs> Would that be good or, you know? Okay. Uh, I'm reminded that as NCOs, you know, we, we know our chain of command and everyone knows from all the way up, everybody's supposed to know each other's job. Everybody's supposed to know one higher, one lower. And I'm reminded of a story of a commander and a sergeant major one time, they were in the field, and they got ready for nighttime, ready to go to sleep, rack out, and the, the commander was laying there, and the sergeant major, they were looking up in the sky, and the sergeant major asked the CO, and they said, sir, what do you see in the sky? The CO said, I see stars. And the sergeant major asked him, he said, well, what does that remind you of, sir? What does that make you think of? And he said, I think of there's billions of stars out there in the sky. And astronomically, I, I think that, that there's just all these other beings out there in the world. And meteorologically, I, I, I think that it means tomorrow we're going to have a beautiful day and that, that the sky is out there. And, and theologically, I think that, that, that God is great and we are just all small and insignificant in this world. What does it mean to you, Sergeant Major? He goes, somebody stole our team. <laughs> Of a, a sergeant major who worked as a ranger, and he, he came back after Vietnam, and he he walked up to his he walked up to his family, and they're from Louisiana, and he walked in there and he said, "Hey, mom, I'm home from the war," and she said, "Well, that's good, that's good. Go on out there and see your pop, and let him know you're home from the war." And so he went outside, and they're country folk, and they're out in the woods, and he found his pop cutting some wood, and he said, "Mom, I'm, I'm home from the war," and he said, "That's good, boy. What'd you learn?" He started telling him, he said, well, you know, I learned how to be a leader, and I, I learned about I learned about hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, and I learned how to, I learned about shooting different guns, and I learned to kill people, and I learned how to throw a grenade, and, and the dad said, whoa, 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 what's a grenade? He said, oh, well, um, it's this round thing, and dad, it's got explosives in it, and put, well, you know what, I got one in my bag. So he went over there and pulled out his grenade and he said, you just pull this pin and you throw it like this. And he threw it. Well, I mean, they're from the country, so they had an outhouse. and It went right in that hole of the outhouse. That grenade did. And he said, hold on, Dad, hold your ears. And about three seconds later, boom! That outhouse fully exploded. I mean, dirt and poop, everything on one big pile. All of a sudden, it got quiet. About that time, Mom came out the door and said, what was that? And she said, have y'all seen Grandpa? <laughs> About that time, Grandpa popped out of that big old pile of poop and dirt, and he said, Woo-wee, I'm glad I didn't do that when you're in the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at this time, I'd like to bring back up Dr. Major Rain. <laughs> yeah. I gotta follow Sartem. So, uh, hey, hey, we showcase Sartem for a reason. All right, we couldn't we couldn't put on this contest uh, without a group of people. All right, uh, Sartem is only one person of that group, so I figured we showcase him to represent the talent uh, of the whole group. All right, so uh, if you don't know it, Sartem is our medic. All right, so he's chased around uh, after the uh, best warriors, although he was in a John Deere. All right, they were on their feet, but, uh, but he's followed them around and he's bandaged their feet up, you know, he's, uh, he, he's seen to them when they dislocated their thumbs, and we've had a, a few injuries, you know, but it, our best warriors kept on, kept on trucking, all mm -hmm. right. We had another group of people, uh, they were introduced earlier from the RTI, all right, only about, what is there, eight? Eight people, all right, they basically put on this whole competition. They went from event to event, all right, outrunning the competitors to the event. To, to get everything staged, everything set up, all right? With, without, without that group of people, those eight staff art teams, all right, the event wouldn't have been a success, all right? The, uh, the competitors would have been out there, uh, they would have been moving on, there wouldn't have been anything ready for them. So, so these people have put forth tremendous effort uh, to keep up with our competitors. And, it, and it's hard to keep up with the best warriors, all right? They're fast, they're moving, they're moving along, all right? So it's hard, it's hard to come up with that plan. So, uh, so these guys have done it along with Sark Tams. So, uh, so thank you, thank, thanks to RGI for being here for the job that you do. All right. 
The, uh, another group of people that, that I would like to thank is some people that contributed on the monetary side as sponsors, and they sponsored the event. So the first one, uh, everybody knows we've got an enlisted National Guard Association. All right, we, we've got one of the strongest National Guard Association, enlisted National Guard Associations in the country, membership-wise. Now we need to be a little more active. All right, we need a little more activity in our Guard Association. But, uh, but we got membership strong. We just need, need to show up and, and become a little more active into the Guard Association. But our Guard Association president, he's been here. He's been here all week uh, helping out, help support the event. Uh, but also the whole Guard Association sponsored the event. So I'll, I'd like to bring First Sergeant Odom up and uh, he, he present us with, uh, with the amount that they sponsored. Thanks, sir, mate. Uh, I always feel like when we talk about the uh, NCO Association that we're, we're separate from everybody else in the room. Most everybody else in the room is the association. It's not just the, the, the board of directors. That's just who's got elected to head up the day-to-day -day business. It, the association is us. So this check is actually from all of us to help put on this, this event. So the association uh, is given $950 this year towards the event. So much. Corporate membership, and uh, I'd like to bring up Russell now with uh, ADES. Uh, I will come down back and get getting sometimes, but uh, he's got a presentation that I wanted him to present because he's a corporate member through the association, but his his uh, monies also went to the uh, uh, the competition. So Russell, thank you very much. Uh, I've been here since the beginning, and it is a true honor to be a part of such an impressive event. To the competitors, you inspire me to, uh, to see what else I can do to help out in any other possible way. And when I was told that I was going to be with the state of Mississippi, I, I didn't know what to think originally, but I have now figured out that I am the luckiest person at ADS. And on behalf of ADS, we'd like to present this check for $1,500 to you, Sergeant Major Reigns, and appreciate everything that you have give, given to us. All right, cool. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you could do me a favor, take the, everything on that left table, just just their, their catalogs. It shows you what we do, and it's something that uh, I really think that we could help with anything that you have with your mission. So I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Cool. Cool. A um, couple of things that I was reminded uh, before we carry on. Um, this Tuesday while we were here, Sergeant Major Campbell celebrated his birthday. So um, <laughs> if everyone would, happy birthday to you. Oh, God. Happy, happy birthday to you. On the other side of Red Side Fishing. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Sergeant you. Major Campbell. that uh, one sergeant major was very upset, took offense to the uh, Moses part of the Red Sea. Um, we know that Sergeant Major Campbell was on the other side of fishing at that time. Um, sergeant Major Ross, I told him I'm gonna have to check the history books because uh, I don't know what he was doing, he was there. He says, but I'm gonna find out what was going on. Um, I wanted to say something about the video real quick uh, about our competitors just to bring them out for a second. They all have individual characteristics. Each one of them, all of you know. So they're all individual. I had to learn them the way that most of you did when they got here. So I would like to ask a couple questions. Um, based off land navigation, Butte, did you follow someone over here? <laughs> did you just... Say. Sergeant, I actually took my instructions from Sergeant Doss here, and uh, we both seem to have gotten a little lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to see both of you. Um, thank you. Um, I don't know, um, uh, Staff Sergeant First Class Lady Kilday, um, I need to ask 
You understand that the competition was about speed. <laughs> <laughs> you understood that, right? You're supposed to be hecky, heck. The video, Peck said, you just got to be faster than the guy behind you. Like, Gilday, I, I kept up with you that whole time. There was nobody else behind you. <laughs> I don't know what motivated you. I don't know. You maybe just saw a Mississippi brown bear. Whatever it was. You kept going. Especially asleep. God love you. You were the, you were the smallest one out here. That, that's dear to my heart. I'm you know? <laughs> the smallest one. Um, just to let you know, when, when you shoot the weapon, Downrange, <laughs> dirt is not a target. <laughs> just want to throw that out there. Um, for all of you sergeant majors here, I'd like to offer my services. Please allow me to come to your unit and teach medical skills. Because at this moment, all of us will be dead. <laughs> Chest seals are apparently not. <laughs> Y'all, if you have a bullet wound at this moment, they now know because I have properly trained them. But prior to this, if you would have had a bullet wound to the chest, uh, Butte, he would have just, he would have drugged you, your head hanging off the litter. Um, heck, heck apparently thinks a bandage. Just wrap it around their whole body, tie it up. <laughs> We're good. Um, the chest seal apparently can just stay in the pack. That apparently works. I don't. I didn't know that. Um, and also, I'd like to give the Congeniality Love Me Award to Specialist Butte because um, he decided when you treat for shock, you just need to hug them. <laughs> was ready to get him out of there and, and he did his nine lines so great and just the only difference I told Peck is you gotta remember litter means you gotta carry him on litter. If you call to me on a nine line and tell me that your casualty is ambulatory, that means they can walk. I'm not coming. <laughs> you know, I'm not coming. Walk them out of the battlefield. And um, and last but not least, Butte once again, he did so great. When it's time to get a cashy out of there, I want to let y'all know that he will be the man to not worry about anything else. Because his exact words were... <laughs> he goes, he tapped the cashy on here. Screw it, let's get out of here. <laughs> That's a soldier right there. I'd like to introduce our uh, guest speaker, uh, the Adjutant General, Army uh, General Brewer. When we talk about best warriors, uh, General Brewer is a warrior. He, he's a warrior by trade. You can look on his chest and you can tell, you know, we call it snake eaters. You can see the uh, snake eater badge there, you know, the Special Forces staff. So I thought no better uh, guest speaker to have here uh, than to bring uh, a, a real warrior up here and, and talk about the warrior sitting over here. So. Thank you so much. John Kennedy, Commander Sergeant Majors, uh, friends, band, most importantly, uh, you can pass it here at the best one. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I apologize to everybody for being late. Uh, I had. Uh, some issues with some transportation trying to get up here and uh, finally got it all worked out and, and got up here. Now, I'll also tell you that, that uh, uh, I looked at my watch a while ago and it's already 8 o'clock. So, and I know y'all are tired and I'm tired too. So, uh, I'll start this speech with the, with the old verbiage that I've never heard a bad short speech. So, uh, <laughs> So, uh, on behalf of Major General Collins, Adjutant General, 
I will tell you that to my knowledge, since he's been the AG, this is the first one of these dinners that he's missed. Uh, and he was supposed to be here tonight, and he's supposed to be standing up here making these comments. Uh, but his military aired that he was supposed to be taking to Fort Hood, Texas fell through, and he had to go on a commercial flight. So uh, that is the reason he's not here tonight. Let me tell you why it's important doing what you do. One, everybody that's sitting in these chairs, y'all set the example for the rest of the force out there. And let me tell you why that's important. Um, I see some uh, I see some some combat badges on some of y'all. Um, I don't I, the world is an extremely dangerous place. And the Mississippi National Guard uh, has a key and pivotal role in the, in, in the future of our nation. Uh, it's hard to believe uh, when you sit here, I mean, so, so y'all have just been up here for several days doing this competition, but I will tell you what that's gonna uh, turn into. That's gonna turn into the MIG next year. It's gonna turn into the NTC rotation. It's gonna turn into a mobilization. And y'all are standard bearers. Y'all are, are the folks who have carried the flag, who come up here and set the standards for the rest of your unit to look at and see. And, and I can promise you that my hat is off to you. Uh, the video that they showed, uh, I will tell you that the Public Affairs Office last year, they took the bulk of that Best Warrior Competition video and turn it into the year in review for the entire Mississippi National Guard. If you hadn't seen that, you need to go online and look at it too. And that may have been what you were getting at about showing the video uh, ahead of time. And, and it would probably be a good idea that as these kids roll in here to go do this, y'all do get to see our, the next year's package of, of competitors, get to see your video and see the things that you're doing before you get started. Uh, because they take that video and they made a year in review for the Mississippi National Guard. <clears throat> and I will tell you that, that I have used that video in speeches to Rotary Clubs, to church groups, to... Uh, so there's people all over this state now that have seen the video of the Best Warrior Competition. I mean, they see it and they go, I didn't know y'all did that. I mean, that's what, that's what they do in the Army. So that's what we're in with the army. So my hat is off to you. Thank you for coming up here. Thank you for giving it your all. Thank you for the, being the best that you can be. Please take what you learned here back to your units. Uh, encourage your peers and your, 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 your folks that are, are with you in the unit to, to, to strive to come do the exact same thing. So with that, Sergeant Major, um, I believe we are ready to hand out awards. Hand out awards. <laughs> Sergeant First Class, Marilla Lane Kilday. This is to certify that the Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard has on this day awarded the Mississippi Soldier of the Year ribbon to Sergeant First Class Gorilla Lane Kilday for recognition of winning at the Major Subordinate Command Level Best Warrior Competition. Given under my hand on this first day of March 2016, Command Sergeant Major John T. Raines. Griffin. This is to certify that the Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard has on this day awarded Mississippi Soldier of the Year Ribbon to Staff Sergeant Griffin in recognition of winning at the Major Supported Command Level Best Warrior Competition. Given under my hand on this first day of March 2016, John T. Rain. This is a 
certify the Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard is on this day awarded the Mississippi Soldier of the Year Ribbon to Staff Sergeant Peck for recognition of winning at the major subordinate command level best warrior competition. Given under my hand on this first day of March 2016, Command Sergeant Major John T. Rain. This is certified that the Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard has on this day awarded the Mississippi Soldier of the Year Ribbon to Sergeant Mark Doss for recognition of winning at the Major Subordinate Command Level Best Warrior Competition. Given under my hand on this first day of March 2016, Command Sergeant Major John T. Reigns. This is to certify the Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard has on this day awarded the Mississippi Soldier of the Year ribbon to Sergeant Riggs for recognition of winning at the Major Subordinate Command level Best Warrior Competition. Given under my hand on this first day of March 2016, Command Sergeant Major John T. Rain. This is to certify that Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard has on this day awarded the Mississippi Soldier of the Year ribbon to Specialist Matthew Butte for recognition of winning at the Major Subordinate Command Level Best Warrior Competition. Given on, under my hand on this first day of March 2016, Command Sergeant Major John T. Rank. This is to certify that the Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard has on this day awarded the Mississippi Soldier of the, Ribbon, Soldier of the Year Ribbon to Specialist Lee for recognition of winning at the Major Subordinate Command Level Best Warrior Competition. Given under my hand on this first day of March 2016, signed Command Sergeant Major John T. Rain. it would have been specialist Gatlin. He is the one that had to go home for his mom. So in recognition, please give him a hand at this time. <laughs> this is certified that the Command Sergeant Major of the Mississippi Army National Guard has on this day awarded the Mississippi Soldier of the Year ribbon to Specialist McKinney for recognition of winning at the Major Subordinate Command Level Best Warrior Competition. Given under my hand on this first day of March 2016, signed Command Sergeant Major John T. Rain. At this time, what we'd like to do is offer each and every one of you to come up and congratulate the, one, the competitors at this time, please. Competitors, please stand. <coughs> Congratulations. Awesome job. Thank Proud you. of you. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. Proud of you. Good job. Congratulations. Great job. Congratulations. Good hard work. On behalf of General Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job. Congratulations. 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 Congratul
Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate your representation as well. Mr. McKinney? Thank you, sir. Good job, buddy. Hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Man, you guys look good out there, man. Y'all kick some butt. Y'all kick butt. Man, you really did look good. I'm really proud of that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm telling you, you got beat. I'm going to have one to welcome you. Yes, sir. Will do. And again, I'm proud to work with you guys put in this past few days. Awesome job. Sorry, man. All right. Hey, man, good job, man. Don't let them clown you, man. Don't let them clown you, man. Hey, you got to have fun with it, Sergeant Major. Man, you did your thing, man. Congratulations, man. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Thank you. You guys worked your butt off. So are you. Sergeant Lee. Hope you got a big hand. This big piece of metal I'm putting in your hand. But hey, you did. You guys kicked butt. And I'm really, really impressed. Good job. No, I'm kidding. How about I put this one here back in here? Congratulations. Thanks, sir, man. man look, I appreciate your support. Really, 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 really impressed me with you guys. You were really just to be on So, so uh, real quick, I, and, and uh, I want to thank everybody for handing out the points to the competitors. Uh, and and, and uh, I'm about to hand out the last coin to each one of them. And uh, everybody knows General Collins uh, had had he he specifically had these coins made uh, for himself, uh, and and th this is a replica of the of the regular coin that he hands out to everybody. And he had I don't know about 15 or 20 of these of these great big huge coins that are exact replicas. That's got a C-17, a tank, and a Bradley on the back. It says shoulder to shoulder. Uh, uh, adjutant general uh, coin of excellence and and so uh, yesterday when I was trying to gather up all the stuff to, to so, so I could make my trip to Camp Shelby and Camp McCain today uh, I was going hey sir I, I need some coins to give to the competitors at the best warrior competition and he literally pulled pulled out uh, the box and handed me I think the last eight or nine of these big coins that he's got so uh, he he wanted he wanted y'all to have uh, one of his coins and something that uh, is bigger than than all this other stuff that y'all got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on behalf of Jeremy Collins, I would say <laughs>
All right, we'll get one more hand. All right, now, now what we did, we came up here and we recognized the best from all around the state. All right, so we came up here, we extended our right hands, we gave them a, a token of our gratitude for a job well done. All right, now it's time to separate uh, from the best. It's time to recognize the best of the best. Okay, so, uh, so what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the uh, NCO level. So, Gerald uh, Burke, you can grab one of those trophies. And y'all can see this trophy uh, represents a little bit of what they did over the course of this week. Uh, carrying a rucksack, they got their rifle in their hand and they're ready to go to work. All right, so, uh, so it's a good representation. It's missing the, uh, the engraved plaque because we don't know who wins until today. So, uh, so once we give it to them, we'll take it back up from them and go get it engraved and then give it back to them at a later date. All right, so uh, without further ado, uh, I would like to announce the uh, winner in the NCO category for the 2016 Best Warrior Competitions in the state of Mississippi. Staff's our pet. be in the soldier category, the uh, E4 and below category. So uh, so without further ado, our, our last award of the night, uh, join me in congratulating Specialist Lee. Oh! Oh! everybody coming. Uh, I can't leave without any admin notes. If you got a room, make sure you turn in your key. All right, because they will call you and bring you back to Camp McCain. So, uh, so, so make sure you turn in your stuff. If you're leaving tonight, if you're leaving in the morning, make sure you do the same thing. All right, but I appreciate everybody's attendance and recognition of our soldiers uh, for the job that they did. Everybody saw in the video. That stuff's tough. All right, nothing they did this week's easy. But it all replicates the job that all our soldiers are going to be are asked to do routinely. All right, throw that rucksack on, get from point A to point B, and be ready to do the job. All right, uh, these are the best uh, that we got, but all our soldiers do that on a regular basis. All right, including the ones in the audience. So I appreciate the job that everybody does, and I appreciate your attendance here. And uh, thanks for coming to the 2016 Best Warrior Competition. Thank you.